Welcome to Desk Geek. Today I'm going to give you something that will allow you to put another feather in your geek cap. Once you master this, you certainly have some bragging rights. It's not too difficult at all, and you're going to have a ton of fun with it. I promise you, this is called IRC, or Internet Relay Chat, and it's a real simple concept. It's basically a big room uh, based on certain channels and servers that you join that have subject matters like anime, Linux, administration, programming, Star Wars, Star Trek, TV shows, movies, whatever you can think of. They probably have a channel for that subject matter and allows you to go in there and socialize with others, ask questions. Really, IRC has been around, like I said, since the 80s, and it's been heavily supported by the Linux community through all the dips and gains and the you know when it started out it was huge and then it kind of died down a little bit and now it's on a resurgence but the Linux community's kept it together this whole time and it's really that go-to source when you need information on administration or real complex questions but even there's a ton of channels for beginners and everyone in the community is very very welcoming just like the Linux community forums and everywhere else you go where everybody just wants you to get into that world and explore it because they know you're gonna love it when you're in there so Internet Relay Chat, really simple concept to get in there and socializing and making friends, but it has this big advantage right now. It's why it's on a resurgence, unlike Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter, which is probably going to be bought by Google soon. All these social metadata grabbing, they're running social experiments to see if certain ads make you happy or sad. They're throwing ads at you. They're collecting all your personal information. They're doing all this stuff, and it's just obnoxious. And you have IRC out here which allow you to socialize with your friends, with make new friends from all over the world, and you don't have to worry about all that metadata bull crap that goes along with that stuff. So it's an awesome place for geeks to hang out, and I really want you to get in there and try this. So whether you're on Windows, Linux, OS X, it doesn't matter. There is a client out there for you. Now, if you're on Windows, my recommended client is HexChat. But there are plenty of other clients, so you can go out there and search and find the ones that you like. If you're on Linux, I like HexChat as well. On OS X, I actually prefer a program called Lime over HexChat, because HexChat doesn't officially support OS X, although there's some homebrew items and things like that out there. So I'm just going to, we're going to start from the beginning here, and I'm just going to show you real quick how simple it is to get this set up. All right, so we're going to accept that license and next next this is this super complex irc chat select the additional tasks you'd like to set up to perform while installing portable mode we don't need any of that and install so install is just like any other program so you do need a client you can do this on your phone as well if you have an android phone or an ios phone you can download a client that will allow you to get into irc chat uh, so let's go ahead and run hex chat and here we go so you've got a nickname, and this is what you're going to be known as in the servers. And then you've got a couple choices here. And the reason why you have a couple choices is because somebody may already have that name. So you can be Dask Geek 1, Dask Geek 2, Dask Geek 3. And then here you have networks that you can join. Now there are a couple core networks. Freenode and the ones listed here are some bigger ones. And all of them have areas that they specialize in. You can search on the internet if you're wanting to look for a different network, but really your key ones are the EFNet, the Undernet, Dialnet, QuakeNet, and Freenode. Uh, I spend a lot of time on Freenode, but you can join, you can add as many of these as you want. So we'll just go ahead and connect to Freenode. And boom, we're on Freenode. You are in basically a holding room at this point. So now what we want to do is we want to find a channel. Um, so we can join the hex chat actually comes up uh, in this client and tells us that we we're now connected to Freenode and if we want we can join the hex chat channel and notice every channel kind of has that pound symbol right there so that's fine we'll go ahead and join that and now we're in here so over here are all the people who are in the room there's 428 here are your messages you're gonna have system messages and things and you can go in the settings and adjust that if you don't want to see when people log in log out etc you can remove that. Otherwise, it's going to tell you if people change their name, you're going to get all kinds of system messages here. But this is where people will chat. Now, most likely, you're not going to want to hang out just in the hex chat. And actually, what I recommend is you join a bunch of different channels that sound interesting. So I'll join anime Linux channels, you know, system administrated channels, programming channels, Star Wars channels, Star Trek channels, and I'll have them all. And you'll be able to go through and see 
which ones have are being active at that moment or which ones have conversations you're interested in and which ones not. So to do that, to get a channel list, you just go over here to server and go list of channels. And now I can do a search and find a channel that I'm interested in. So let's try anime. And you've got these channels here and you'll see it tells you how many users are in and I can even change down here and say that I only want to join rooms that are really populated so maybe I only want to start with a hundred or whatnot or I can sort by the amount of users that I have and go and say I want to join this anime channel so now I go and I click join channel and then I want to join a Linux channel here so let's search for Linux and you're gonna get a lot of results here so you got 2418 users in the Linux channel so let's go ahead and join that and Arch Linux why not and you can just scroll through here maybe you're interested in OSX or Mac related items let's see if there's OSX channel so you've got some Macintosh yep you've got a Mac OS channel 500 users in it here so we can join that channel and so now we're connected we've got all these different channels and I can go here and when people start talking and I can see the activity you can see these individuals talking here about SNES you know Super Nintendo Entertainment System etc and individuals talking about Linux here so that's how you get into the conversation that's it that's how simple it is you are now officially an IRC user now what you're gonna wanna do because a lot of channels have trolls a lot of channels have people try to post links to try any like any social network you have people out there trying to you know give you a virus and stuff and honestly it's not that often the administrators in these rooms do a really good job especially the big rooms but I'm gonna tell you keep your keep utilizing your basic internet uh, protection methods you know don't click on links that are posted in here if someone private message you once you download something don't you can send files and things through this but if you don't know them and know them really well I wouldn't do it honestly uh, I think that would be a really bad idea and get you in trouble quick I've not ever had to download a file or anything if I see a URL or something I'm interested in I'll take the last string like a YouTube video of their URL and I'll type it in myself and go to YouTube to make sure it's legitimate so that's it now we're on IRC and you can chat and you've got all these rooms and some of the rooms will stay dead for a while and that's why you want to join as many of these as you can on my computers where I have and on my phone active I mean I have just lists and lists and lists of channels that I connect to at once and that makes it more of a like a reddit experience where you're just lost in it for a long time so the other thing that you're gonna to want to do is probably set up a name for yourself so while now you saw the nicknames and it's gonna load you in there a lot of times you will go into a channel and you'll get banned right away because you don't have a registered name and they're doing that to keep the trolls out so it's not a big deal so what you want to do first is you can type in slash Nick and then your name so this is talking when you do that slash you're talking to the server and it will change my nickname to what I put there which was das geek so you you would put whatever you want here once you do that then you're going to want to register that name and to do that you're going to just use this path here and I'm gonna put all this in the links down below so you're gonna type in here slash message Nick serve so you're talking to the server register so now that you're under the nickname that you want because you just remember in the last step you changed your nickname and then you're going to put your password and your email address here so you're going to type it out whatever your password you want to be then space then your email address and it's going to send you a link then to that email address and then you're going to click on that link it's going to verify you and you will be registered on the server so then if you want to log in as yourself you're going to use this path here slash message nick server identify your nickname and then your password so in my case it would be das geek and then my password I'd hit enter and it would log me in under my das geek name so now I have that name I can go in in any room and keep that name if somebody uses it temporarily and I come on I can kick them off that name by utilizing that registering and logging in uh, additionally you can start your own channels let's say there's a channel that you don't like here so we can start our own channel so I can generally if you start your own channel you're going to use a dash dash so let's make a das geek channel here so slash join das geek channel so boom I'm in it now so let's set that mode and we're gonna register this channel so I'm gonna use the slash message chan server register das geek channel and so register das geek channel is done and 
now this channel, this Desk Geek channel, is mine. I'm the OP, original poster. And anytime I want to rejoin this, I can just use this command here and slash message chan server on the op desk geek channel it knows that and it'll give that back to me as long as i'm logged in under desk geek so now you can come in here and you can join pound pound desk geek channel and we can chat so that is how irc works it's a really cool place to go hang out you're going to get a lot more substance in the conversations than you're going to find on your typical social networks plus you don't have all the ads and all that crap to deal with I really recommend you get out there and check out IRC. It's been around for a long time, but it's making a resurgence. It's very, very cool. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know what channels you join, what servers you join, and that way we can uh, link up and maybe chat. And just to show you something real quick I threw together, this is kind of just a simple diagram. This is how IRC works. Your computer, you have a client like Hexchat and Lime we talked about. It sends your message to one of these servers like Fnet, Undernet, Dalnet, Freenode, which is the one we were on, that you can join any of these servers. And then they have channels that you join. When you send a message through, it's just echoing that. So it gives you the impression you're all in the same room, but really it's just taking that message you sent from the client to the server and the server is just repeating that into the room. So it's pretty awesome uh, technology. Very, very simple, but... Uh, very, very effective for social interactions and getting answers to a lot of your questions. So, again, thumbs up. You love the video. Until next time, get out there and fill your brains.